Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. Uh, this is once again the ultimate talkie edition of this game, something I've never played. I'm really excited to see what it looks like with the original visuals and the voice acting from the special edition. We are of course playing the standard version of the game, not the Monkey 2 Lite where it's um, a bit easier. I've never actually played this, so I might actually have to do a series of it at some point in the future just to see what it's like. We're playing the proper one, here we go. Well, not the proper one, the longer one. Here we go. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood. You do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's a long story. <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Admiring fans, eh? Here we go. God, it sounds good to hear this music again. Hey, you guys get out of here. <laughs> Clear off. I love the opening credits to this game, it's so good, isn't it? Not quite as iconic as the first game, but really good still. I actually can't remember some of the puzzles for this as well, it's been a long time, so... Probably will take me a little bit longer to complete this one than it did the first one, which is nice. Monkeys are back. <laughs> Just tap your foot. I don't like talking too much through these things, I like just taking in the opening titles, enjoying the experience. Scab Island. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. <laughs> and then the truck cries, Guybrush, have mercy. I can't take it anymore. Totally accurate. I think I know how he must have felt. <laughs> yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? <laughs> no. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop. Big Whoop. None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. <laughs> now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. You'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. <laughs> they don't want to hear about LeChuck. They're bored of that story. And off we go. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. <laughs> when I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. Yeah. I can 
can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Yeah, well that's first stop, isn't it? Okay, part one, the Largo Embargo. And here we are, Scab Island itself. Let's um, let's have a look around, shall we? What does this sign say? Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oh, we don't want to hunt treasure, that's for sure. Um, anything else we can look at here? There is not. I mean, this is the point where the game really kicks off, isn't it? So. Uh. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Look at all of our good inventory stuff. Is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, I'll take my money. I don't want any trouble. Who's gonna make me, Shorty? I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Yeah, who's gonna make me? Who's gonna make me, Shorty? Tough guy, huh? Uh oh. Help! <laughs> Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Damn. All right, and uh, then who keeps up the uh, the law and maintains order? And who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? <laughs> Please, not in my new coat. And who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on these roughing up on this side. Hey. You're loaded. We actually This are. is my lucky night. No. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. What bully. Tough <laughs> town. Very tough I town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Yeah. Probably true. Now look at our inventory. All that treasure and money gone. It's not great, is it? Okay, so here we go, Scab Island. We've got all the different places, the cemetery, we've got the swamp, uh, we've got wood tick over here, um, we've got the peninsula as well. Where's the campfire? There on the beach, wasn't it? That was where we were. So let's let's, um, let's head back there and see if we can talk to these guys about anything in particular. We'll grab this stick while we're here. Might come in useful. Let's see if we can uh, give them any stories. Think. And Bart. And there's also uh, this shack here. Look at the sign in a bit. Uh, let's look at Fink. Nice. Nice, apparently. Bart. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's talk to these guys. He's back. We're back. Do you want to hear about the Chuck? <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time I kicked the Chuck's butt? Did I ever tell you about the time I kicked the Chuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story <laughs> again. There's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Oh, yeah? Largo Le Grand is back on scab. Yeah, we, we met him. He used to be Le Chuck's right-hand man. You oh. don't want to get Largo on your bad side. Uh, tell me about this Largo guy. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. It doesn't seem very nice. Why don't you kick Largo off the island? So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. Yeah. He's never coming I back. Heard they never found his body. Because he was a ghost. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. Not this story again. This story again. Yeah. How's the pirate biz? How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. Yeah, no, you got to have the ship and everything, right? What's this about an embargo? What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. Well, that it's doesn't a huge sound fair. tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Ugh, that's disgusting. Uh, any idea where I could hire a ship? Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named Captain Dread. Captain. Thanks. So 
Sounds intimidating. Red. Not really. Once you get to know him. Right. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sail in him. All right, well, I mean, do you guys know any piratey songs while we're here? Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go, Go on, ahead, then. Fink. Go on. Sing that one about Scab Island. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm waiting. Fink, in your, in, in your own time. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab. Let us scab on a pirate, and if you listen to me gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no tale in which to ride. That was beautiful. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Really, really good. You got any marshmallows left? Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? Yeah. We don't have any marshmallows. It's right there in your hand. What's that white puppy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my iPad. Ugh. We're just... Sterilizing it. Ugh. We're pirates, Guybrush. Not Girl Scouts. Sure, sure. I mean, do you know any more piratey songs? Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not gonna sing Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? Why? You know that one always makes me cry. Oh, no, I want to sing it. All right, fine. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Uh, well, I mean, I'll leave you guys to that, shall I? Let's go and have a look at this sign, see what's going on over here. Steaming weenies, 20 feet. Nice, steaming weenies. Let's go to this, uh, this place over here. Let's, um, let's have a look, what have nice. we got? Here? Nice, yeah, but, but what is it? Looks closed. It does look closed. Can we uh can we open the door? Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Okay, well it's locked, so we uh we can't go in there, it seems. Alright, well let's um let's head somewhere else, shall we? Let's see where else we can go to around here. I mean I know where we've got to go, but whether we go there straight away or not is another matter. Uh I'll tell you what, let's stop off at wood tick on our way. And uh we'll head over here, see what's over this way. Oh, look at this place. Place is great. Hello, it's a woodsmith. He looks buff. He does. Um, what's he do? He's got a hammer and everything here. It says Woody. Woody. Okay. That's me. Hello, Woody. Nice chair. Comfortable looking chair. Yeah, looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's not for sale. Why are you making it then? There's a stool over here. What a cute little stool. Yeah. It's adjusted to my height. Good for you. Workbench. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. Okay, well, let's hope nobody, you know, messes all that up then. Or anything like that. A peg leg. I mean, we need one of those, right? Nice craftsmanship. I made it myself. He's even got his calendar set up. Look at that. Oh boy. It's Buzzsaw Girl. Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. Okay, well, we'll take your word for that. Um, do you want to chat? <clears throat> Yeah. Hi. Um, what's the problem with that Largo guy? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him. I'd like to see that. But I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. What would that be? Like an all-night tattoo parlor? <laughs> no. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Huh. Oh. Okay, uh, nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. Hey, it's not very nice. Here we go, the iconic line. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. <laughs> 
But. But if a woodchuck could chuck in woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? I mean, a woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd like to look around a bit. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, the voice acting is so good on that part. It really is. All right, let's head out the door. Let's um, see what we've got going on here. Well, we are out of time for this episode, so we'll continue on looking around Woodtick in the next one. But man, it feels good to be playing this game again. It's been a while. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Timely Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadin, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, and Jonathan Conley. And I'll see you next time.